Okay. Yes, ma'am. We are on chapter 13. It's called I Meet Winnie's Evil Twin Brother, the Woolpoo. I don't know. That's what it says. Um, so they had gotten to Birmingham. Yes, they made it to Birmingham. And they made it when you were here. But yesterday, what happened was they found out who Mr. Robert was. And who was Mr. Robert? Oh, it, was a really good friend. it was a really good friend of the grandma's. And they also, yes, we learned that their grandfather had been gone a few years. Yes, 20 years. Um, and we learned that a lot of things in Birmingham had changed since the mom was there last, right? All right, so let's see what's going to happen in chapter 13 today. We're just going to read part of it. Where's my sticky note? Yes, we're just reading part of it today. Okay. If y'all are gonna, going to the water, you stay away from Collier's Landing. A couple of years ago, Miss Thomas's little boy Jimmy got caught up in some kind of whirlpool there, and they didn't find the poor soul's body for three days. I'd only halfway listened to what Grandma Sands had said, and now me and Joey and Byron were standing at a sign with arrow, arrows that pointed in two directions. The one pointing to the left said public swimming, and the other one pointing to the right looked like it had been on the post for a million years. But if you got close to it, you could read, warning, no trespassing, no swimming, no public entry. Signed, Joe Coyer. Oh man, Coyer's Landing, I said. Let's go. I knew Joey wouldn't like this but I figured me and Bi could talk her into coming and not snitching. Joey said, uh-uh, Kenny, you heard Grandma Sands tell about that little boy getting lost in the water. What was that thing called that, he, that she said got, got him? Was a Daddy Cool said, didn't you hear what she said, Joey? She said he got caught by the wool pool. Is that a fish, Joey asked. Uh-uh. You know who Winnie the Pooh is, don't you? Me and Joey both nodded. Well, the wool poo is Winnie's evil twin brother. Don't no one ever write about him because they don't want to scare y'all kids. What he does is hide under and snatch stupid kids down with him. But, but I figured that dumb story was enough to scare me off, and he started walking in the direction of the public swimming. If Kenny wants to take his stupid little behind down there and get snatched let him so i grabbed joey's hand and started pulling her along with him but she skidded her feet in the dirt but byron what if the wool pool comes down and we're and where are we going can't he swim down there and get people too nah joey the wool pool don't come on public beaches he just grabs folks that are too stingy to let peons come on their land too stingy to let peons come on their land, like this Coyer boy. Who could understand Byron? Here was a chance for another fantastic adventure, and he was going in the wrong direction. Something was wrong with him. If he was in Flint, and you told him not to do something, he'd go right out and do it. But now, he was acting real dumb and square. Maybe it was the heat. Maybe it was just like he had sucked all the energy out of, out of me and... Maybe just like it had sucked all the energy out of me, it had sucked all the meanness and fun out of Byron. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do, punk? Byron shouted over his shoulder. Joey yelled. Joey yelled, come on, Kenny. You know what Grandma Sand said. I couldn't believe it. I really wanted to go see where some kids drowned. And now, Bi was choosing this time to listen to what grown-ups told him. Oh, man. I'm going to Coyer's Landing. Byron shrugged. Have fun, I shouted. What's wrong with you? When are you going to start acting like you normally do? What would what would Bumphead say if he saw you acting like this? Who's Bumphead? I'm his friend. best friend. Oh, oh okay. Uh, see, I missed that part because I did Okay. So, so, um... Bye's not acting like he normally does, is he? 
He's acting good and being a good listener now. Hmm. Byron flipped me double... Ooh. Byron flipped me double middle fingers and another finger sign I'd never seen before and said, just keep your stupid little butt out of the water. Forget you, I'm going. They kept walking. I'm not playing. Joey waved. I'm going to Coiler's Landing. They were gone. I looked in the direction that the warning sign was pointing and started to get a little nervous. I turned and started to follow Joey and Byron, but finally decided I really was going to Coyer's Landing. Maybe Byron was getting sick of having more fantastic adventures, but I figured I was getting old enough to have some myself. You're a couple of jive squares, I shouted, then walked off the way the warning sign pointed. Byron must have thought I was stupid. Whoever heard of something called a wool pool? Wool poo. I wasn't sure what the lie was, but I knew Byron had made that junk up. Besides, if Winnie the Pooh had an evil twin brother, it seemed like I would have read about it somewhere. Some of the time, it was kind of hard to understand what Grandma Sands was saying, but I couldn't remember her saying anything about any wool poo. If there really was something that snatched kids into the water, Mama and Dad wouldn't have let us come down here, would they? I knew all that stuff, but I was still kind of nervous when I followed the little trail that went through a bunch of bushes and led to the water. I forgot all about Byron's lies as soon as I saw the water. Coyler's Landing was great. The water was dark, dark blue. And best of all, it was about a hundred of a hundred degrees cooler. Joy, Joe Coyer had put up another sign on a giant tree. Warning! Danger! No swimming! Six lives been lost here. Bad drop-off! Signed, Joe Coyer. Six? Grandma Sands had said one little boy drowned here. Not six. I felt dumb, but I looked real hard at the water to see if the wool poo was hiding there. I even looked up and down the shore to see if there were any strange footprints on the ground. I was kind of worried because this sign looked a lot fresher than the first one. I kept waiting for Bye to jump out of the bushes and say something like, Aha, you little dope, I got you. I made you look for a wool poo. But everything was real calm and quiet. The water didn't even look like it was moving. But like it was breathing, going up and down, up and down and it made a sound like the wind blowing through big trees in Flint. I walked right to the edge of the water and still didn't see anything strange, so I figured if there really was anything dangerous, Byron would have followed me here and stopped me from getting hurt, wouldn't he? Then a bell went off in my head. I knew Joe Coyer put that sign up because he didn't want to share his lake with anyone. The wool poo was something made up, garbage. So, do you think it really is made up? Yeah. Do you think that? Do you think he's gonna go into the water? Yes. He's already in the water. He's at the edge. So he'll get in. He'll jump out, and you don't think anything bad's gonna happen?